Did you know about the benefits that come with being 60% service connected? It's a crucial question, especially for those who've served and sacrificed for their nation. Understanding these benefits can make a significant difference in quality of life and long-term financial stability. They range from disability compensation to health care, vocational rehabilitation, and even home loans. So, let's dive in, explore, and unwrap these benefits that are not only well-deserved but can also pave the way to a brighter future. Hit subscribe and stay tuned to learn more about these benefits. First on the list is disability compensation. This is a significant financial benefit for those who are 60% service connected. As we stand in 2024, the base pay rate for this level of disability is $1,361.88. This is for a single veteran with no dependents. But don't worry, if you have dependents, there's additional compensation in store for you. This could even include aid and attendance for an eligible spouse. So, you see the system is designed to support not just you but your loved ones too. It's a comprehensive approach that takes into account the whole picture of your life. And remember, this is just the base pay. There are other benefits that we'll talk about later in this video. That's a significant benefit, isn't it? Next, we have the concurrent receipt of military retired pay. Now, this is where things can get a little tricky, so let's break it down. As a rule, a military retiree may not receive both disability compensation from the Department of Veterans Affairs, also known as VA Disability Compensation, and military retired pay at the same time. Here's how it works. A military retiree can choose to waive their military retired pay, dollar for dollar, in order to receive VA disability compensation. This law is detailed in Title 38 of the United States Code, Sections 5304 and 5305. However, there's a special provision that allows some retirees to receive both military retired pay and VA disability compensation concurrently. To be eligible, there are a couple of conditions that need to be met. Firstly, you must be entitled for any given month to both military retired pay and VA disability compensation. Secondly, you must have a service-connected disability or a combination of service-connected disabilities that is rated by the Secretary of Veterans Affairs as not less than 50% disabling on the VA schedule for rating disabilities. It's important to note that this doesn't apply to members who retired under Chapter 61 for disability. So what does this mean in simpler terms? Well, if you're a military retiree with a service-connected disability rated at 50% or more, you could be eligible to receive both your military retired pay and VA disability compensation in the same month. In essence, this concurrent receipt of both benefits is a kind of double benefit for those who meet the criteria. It's like having your cake and eating it too, which can be a significant financial help for those who serve their country and are now living with a service-connected disability. A double benefit indeed for those who meet the criteria. Let's talk about commissary and exchange privileges. These are some of the perks that come with being 60% service-connected. Imagine having access to a wide variety of goods and services at prices significantly lower than what you'd find at your average supermarket. That's what commissaries and exchanges offer. They're essentially department stores for veterans, providing everything from groceries to electronics. And the best part? You can use these facilities both in person and online. Now let's throw in morale, welfare and recreation retail facilities, or MWR for short. Picture this. Recreational equipment rentals, golf courses, bowling centers, restaurants, marinas, hobby shops, movie theaters, and even lodging, all designed with you, the veteran, in mind. So, whether you're planning a family dinner, need a new gadget, or just want to enjoy some leisure time, these privileges have got you covered. It's just one of the ways we say thank you for your service. Shopping with benefits, right? Health is wealth, and that's why healthcare is a great benefit. Now, as a veteran with a 60% service-connected disability, you're entitled to a host of benefits under the healthcare umbrella. One of these is access to Veterans Affairs hospitals and clinics. You won't have to worry about long lines or being turned away because these facilities are dedicated to serving veterans like you. The medical services provided are comprehensive, covering a wide range of health needs, from routine checkups and preventive care to specialized treatments and surgeries. But what's even better is that these services could come at little to no cost. Yes, you heard it right. Depending on your income and other factors, you might not have to pay a penny for your healthcare services. This goes a long way in reducing the financial burden that usually comes with healthcare, leaving you to focus on what's most important, your health and well-being. But there's more. Healthcare for veterans is not just about access, it's also about priority. 
As a service-connected veteran, you're given priority when it comes to VA healthcare services. This means you don't have to wait for too long to get the healthcare you need. Expedited scheduling for appointments and treatments is part of the package. Whether it's a routine checkup or a critical treatment, your healthcare needs are given the urgency they deserve. And if you're wondering about how you're going to get to these healthcare appointments, worry no more. Travel allowances are provided for scheduled appointments for care at a VA medical facility or VA authorized healthcare facility. This means you won't have to dig into your pocket every time you have a healthcare appointment. In essence, as a veteran with a 60% service connected disability, you're not just given access to healthcare, you're given priority. You're not just a number in the queue, but a valued member of the veterans community whose health and well being matter. Priority Healthcare ensures you get the care you need, when you need it. Having access to prescription medications is another huge benefit. Veterans with a 60% service-connected disability are often eligible for prescription medications provided by the Veterans Affairs, or VA. This means that necessary medications, whether they're for physical conditions or mental health, can be accessed at little to no cost. This is a significant advantage, as the cost of prescription medications can add up quickly, especially for chronic conditions that require ongoing medication. By providing access to these medications, the VA helps to alleviate some of the financial stress that can come with managing health conditions, particularly for veterans on a fixed income or facing other financial challenges. Remember, eligibility may vary based on individual circumstances, so it's important to check with your VA healthcare provider to understand what medications are covered and how to access them. This benefit can certainly ease the burden of medical expenses. Let's not forget about vocational rehabilitation and employment services. These services, commonly referred to as VR and E, are a treasure trove of resources designed to support veterans in their transition from military to civilian life. They're all about providing the necessary tools and guidance to help you achieve your career goals and maintain meaningful employment. First off, VR and E offers career counseling services. This isn't just about pointing you towards a job board and wishing you luck. No, this is personalized, one-on-one -on -one counseling aimed at helping you understand your strengths, interests, and abilities and aligning them with a fulfilling career. These professionals can help you craft a resume, prepare for interviews, and even offer advice on how to navigate the job market. Now, maybe you're thinking about furthering your education or acquiring new skills to make yourself more marketable. VR and E has got you covered there too with a variety of education and training programs. These programs can range from traditional degree programs to vocational and technical training courses. And the best part? These are often available at little to no cost to you. But VR and E is not just about getting you ready for the job market. They also provide job placement assistance. They work in conjunction with employers, job placement agencies, and other partners to help you find suitable employment. Whether it's part-time, full-time, or even work-from-home opportunities, they strive to match you with a position that suits your unique needs and abilities. And for those entrepreneurial spirits out there, VR and E even offers support for starting a small business. They can assist with business plan development, training, and even provide resources to help you get your venture off the ground. In essence, vocational rehabilitation and employment services are there to ensure that you, as a veteran, are not just surviving in the civilian world, but thriving. They are committed to helping you forge a successful and fulfilling career path post-service. Guidance and support for your career path, isn't that great? VA home loans and education benefits are two other benefits to consider. If you've served your nation, it's only fair that the nation serves you in return, right? And that's precisely what the VA home loans and education benefits aim to do. Let's start with VA home loans. These are not just any home loans, they're tailored to veterans, offering favorable terms that you won't find in conventional loans. For instance, you're looking at no down payment requirement. Yes, you heard it right, zero down payment. Plus, the interest rates are competitive, keeping your monthly payments manageable. And here's the icing on the cake. There's a waiver of VA funding fee for the home loan. So you're not just getting a house, you're building a home without the financial stress that usually comes with it. Now, let's switch gears and talk about education benefits. You've probably heard of the GI Bill, right? It's a comprehensive program that provides financial support for higher education or vocational training. But what does it entail for you? Well, it offers tuition assistance, meaning a significant chunk of your education expenses are taken care of. But that's not all. You also get a housing allowance, which can be a real lifesaver. 
especially if you're studying in a city with high living costs. And there's other financial support too, all aimed at making your educational journey smooth and stress-free. In conclusion, the VA home loans and education benefits are not just benefits, they're opportunities, opportunities for you to build a stable, secure future. They're the nation's way of saying thank you for your service and sacrifice, and the best part? They're yours for the taking. All you need to do is reach out and grab them. These benefits can significantly enhance your quality of life. Finally, we have Dependency and Indemnity Compensation, or DIC, and Burial Benefits. These are two major considerations that often don't get the attention they deserve until they're needed, so let's dive right in. First, let's talk about DIC. This is a tax-free monetary benefit generally payable to a surviving spouse, child, or parent of service members who died while on active duty, active duty for training or inactive duty training, or to survivors of veterans who died from their service-connected disabilities. Parents DIC is an income-based benefit for parents who were financially dependent on a son or daughter who died from a service-related cause. If you have dependents, they may be eligible for DIC benefits if your disability is determined to be the cause of your death. This benefit is designed to provide ongoing financial support to those who rely on you, even after you're gone. It's a way to ensure that your loved ones won't be left without resources, and it's an essential part of the benefits package for those who are 60% service-connected. Now, on to burial benefits. As a veteran with a 60% service connection, you might also be eligible for certain burial benefits. This includes burial in a VA national cemetery, a headstone or marker, and burial flags. These benefits are intended to honor your service and provide a dignified, respectful, final resting place. Being eligible for burial in a VA national cemetery means that you can be interred in hallowed ground, alongside your fellow service members. You'll also be eligible for a government headstone or marker, and a burial flag, which can be presented to your next of kin or a close associate. It's a fitting tribute to your service, and it can also help to alleviate some of the financial pressure that often comes with arranging a burial. Remember, these benefits are part of a larger package designed to support and reward you for your service. Being 60% service-connected means you've made significant sacrifices for your country, and these benefits are a way of acknowledging that. In conclusion, being 60% service-connected comes with a host of benefits that can greatly improve your life. From financial compensation and healthcare, to home loans and education benefits, there's a lot to take advantage of. And with DIC and burial benefits, you can rest assured that even after your journey ends, your service will continue to be acknowledged and your loved ones will be taken care of. It's a way of saying thank you from a grateful nation for everything you've done. Thank you for watching.